shall belong to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces scattered throughout the four corners of the earth through captivity. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakah Kadash, and the honor to the apostles and elders at Great Bosso that rule well. I wanted to jump into this concept that the most high's men fucking despise it here. Okay. And you're in for the kingdom of the Heavenly Father to be established on the universe eternally. All right, which is the ultimate plan of the Most High, okay, and is the fate of this entire universe, and that that is the desire of the men of the Most High more than anything, all right, well, they, and they want this, this is their desire above any fucking thing uh, in the universe, okay, they don't want anything else. And they don't uh, fucking care about anything else because everything else doesn't fucking matter, okay? And ultimately, in this time for Israel, it was a fucking lesson. It was a prison bid, a sentence, okay, to be at the very rock fucking bottom. And then, furthermore, to be in a society where wickedness is fucking flourishing, all right, that's all anybody ever fucking does. Like it tells you all throughout these scriptures, there is no love of the most high here. Okay, only fucking transgression continually. You see, wickedness um, exceedingly polluted the whole earth. All right, and considering these things, it wouldn't be um, a peaches and cream fucking existence and uh, experience here. Okay. And really, this is not fucking living, you see? So for a time, this thing seemed like it was lagging. As we were going to read here in the thir uh, Salaki, in the 12th verse of Proverbs 13, we're going to get these precepts that reflect how the Most High is going to make good on his word. And in that time that he was going to make good on his word, he was going to speed up. Um, the times, okay, and we're indeed in that in that time of seeing the Most High making good on His prophecies. All right, World War Three right on the motherfucking brink. Okay, we're seeing pestilences and famines, plague, natural disasters. Okay, economic collapse, uprisings. And it's only fucking uh, avalanching, okay? Like the motherfucking snowball effect, okay? It starts as a something you can hold in your fucking hand, like a softball, and it's gonna grow to the size of a of a goddamn the side of a goddamn mountain, all right? Metaphorically, and that's what we're witnessing right now. This is in um, Proverbs. 13 and 12, hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Okay. So our hope, which is our expectation, I believe that word is uh, thawacha. Uh, it's thawachalath. Uh, okay. Thawachalath which means an expectation, okay? So our expectation, which is for the kingdom, the most High's eternal kingdom to be established in the universe, that expectation being deferred, and deferred simply means to be prolonged, okay? Or to be drawn out or dragged, to drag out. It seemed like these prophecies for a time that they were dragging along, okay? And in that, it made the the heart or the mind, the disposition of um, the men of, of Yahweh Bashim Shai, only a righteous man, right? It would render them fucking sick, okay? Metaphorically. Let's pull that up. Yeah. 
it would make them um, weary, so to speak. Who talks about how the saints of Yahweh Shimei Oshai would be worn out? Okay. Let's get this word sick. Make it sick. Okay. Chala. Okay. Chala. And it means um, we're going to get the, the relevant application. To be grieved. That's the one. To be or become grieved. Okay. So... This thing, while at a time, our, what we expected, what our hope was, which is for the establishment and setup of the Most High's kingdom, okay, Kainos, while um, that seemed like it was lagging, it was um, dragging along like it, like it was prolonged, okay, because it talks about how no chastisement seem it to be joyous while you're in it okay and that's what the case was when it seems like you know from the time of the transatlantic slave trade this last nasty fucking captivity that our people were subject to right colonization and the transatlantic slave trade it seemed like this thing was was um was fucking dragging along but if you go into it according to the prophetic timeline it, it wasn't it was right in in um it was right in alignment with the Most High's plan, okay. But it it just it feels like it it tarried, and within that it gave us grief, okay. It says, uh, <clears throat> "To be rubbed or worn, right? It's, it's a, um, a picture of like being worn down, and then." Um, but grief is the the best application of that because we're going to get what the grief means. Grief basically means fucking um, immense, intense sorrow. We don't need to get it, okay? I'll tell you, it's it's intense sorrow. It's um, And even to the point of, they say, like mourning, okay? It's a, it's a, um, a deep fucking sorrow, man. And indeed it does because... No f fucking uh, body with a righteous bone in, in their in their body would be um, content here, okay? Would be comfortable here. It's almost like in unto uh, um, what like they can't fucking stand it. That's a um, but only in accordance to the um, only metaphorically, all right? Because we have to fucking stand it in accordance. To Micah seven and nine, okay, it said, "I will bear the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Shai because I have sinned against him." So, um, it it was for our own transgressions and our own iniquities that has us in this fucking situation any fucking way. So we have to bear that fucking shit. But really, um, it would understanding what type of society we're in a righteous man is extremely uncomfortable in this fucking place man and we yearn for the kingdom what does the scripture say um the and considering that we're fucking captives we're still in captivity yet to this day and even in a worse form because it's captivity of the mind okay um it says that the uh, the captive hastened to be loosed, all right? That we hasten the day of Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's likened into rushing, but really, it's it's like um, it's like running into the secret place of the Most High. Okay. When you fucking run to something, you really fucking want it. Okay. And that's what it is um, to hasten this thing, man. It also goes into your eye being single, that nothing else really fucking matters, and it doesn't, okay? And especially when you put this thing first, everything else just falls the fucking line. So you really can cast all the other shit off, 
and put this first and and um and and not even first because is something really first when there's nothing else or is it just that and that's what it is to just have this is the only thing in our fucking uh um in our sights okay we got the blinders up to everything a goddamn thing else you see but um this hope now that has was has been deferred all right that seems like it was lagging now we um are starting to see the vengeance okay and with that comes a rejoicing all right let's get this in romans the ninth chapter 28th verse it says for he will finish the work Oh, Salakia, let me let me get this first um, in Habakkuk, the second chapter, because at a time it seemed like it, the shit was fucking lagging. All these um, destructive calamities, all right, the downfall of this fucking society, but we're, we're witnessing it now. What's um, one of the main things in the in the news right now is the motherfucking uprisings, which that is one of the key indicators that is said of the Most High's return. Um, and this is according to Second Edges, the ninth chapter. Okay, it said, "When the Most High will begin to visit the world which He made, He mentioned two things. It's mentioned uproars of the people, uproars, and then it mentioned earthquakes. And those two things we see at a massive fucking uh, um, uptrend. Okay." Those things are happening in much higher frequency and intensity. All right. Well, we'll look at all those motherfucking protests across these um, these goddamn um, indoctrination institutions across the, the, the country. Okay. Back in two and three. See, this thing is not fucking lagging anymore. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Okay, so that's proof that said that this thing it seemed like it was deferred. All right, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay. It's because our perception, the Most High is is um is molding and per, and uh, altering our perception, okay, to be more um, in alignment with his, with how he perceives, which is in a completely different fucking um, realm and, uh, and time than, we, than we're in, okay? The way he, he operates the realm, he operates in and on is motherfucking worlds apart from from uh, man and we'll never fully get the the um you know what i'm saying we'll never fully get on on the most highs level that's fucking silly but he's bringing us to the level uh the the most you can get as a, um hit one of his creation and that's the elect the first fruits which is the Allah okay with the fucking um faggot Christians to say is the Elohim and all that okay that's the celestial council all right the Devon which is a circle of familiar friends as um, broken down in uh, Amos 3 and 6 or is it or is it 7 or is it 7 let me see Amos 3 and 7, 3 and 7, okay, surely Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, okay, when you go into his secret, it goes into the circle of familiar friends, the Devon, his, um, his uh, counsel, okay, 
council chamber. The council chamber. His round table, man. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Those are the ones who um, are going to be the first fruits of salvation. Okay. And will be um, judging the 12, the 12 uh, tribes of Israel in the entire fucking planet. Okay. Romans 9 to 28. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness because a short work will Yahweh make upon the earth. Okay. There you have it. So the Most High is cutting this thing fucking short. All this span of time where wickedness has had the um have had liberty. Okay. It's had um an avenue and a platform to just completely fucking proliferate across this planet, man. It's where it's just been wickedness, nothing but fucking wickedness, man. People run by their their um carnal desires, which is insatiable, okay which is um, desperately wicked. It says, and deceitful above all things. This is the heart and the mind of man, and they're, which is synonymous with their fucking flesh. Okay. The, the most high is sh cutting this shit the fuck short. And what does it say? Um, that uh, the triumphing of the wicked is short. Don't you know this? Like I said. Don't you know this of old? Right? And it also talks about in that same chapter in Psalms that that speaks about um, the wicked spreading himself like a green bay tree. It also goes into how he will, how this motherfucker, this, this heathen, primarily Esau, Edom, but really all these fucking heathen, um, empires and heathen ruled um, systems, okay, which was ruled in fucking complete transgression and iniquity, okay. It's gonna be an end to all that fucking shit. And oh, fuck it, let's get it, okay. They're gonna wither as the motherfucking grass, man. This is in, oh shit, it's a lot. So, it, is it in Isaiah? Let's see what it says. It says a green bay tree. Let's see. Green bay tree. KJV. Psalm 37. Okay, let's see. Mm, there it is, there it is. So what is it in Isaiah 40 and 8? It says, The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our power shall stand forever. That's what's up. This is in Psalm 37 and 2. Let's start at 1. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. And when you go into this, in the motherfucking commentary about the grass, grass fucking, grass withers very fucking fast. You'll see that shit. Um, and it's the spirit, because it does. When you, no when you notice that shit, it starts to brown if it's not fucking tended to, okay? It doesn't last so just as the grass or and the green herb, okay. That's how fucking fast the Most High is gonna is gonna to uh, speedily rid this fucking place, man, and establish his kingdom. And and also, that's how um, short of a span it's really been. And it, it just to get our mind and perception on the level with the Most High is to see that this um that it's been a, a short span of time that they've been in fucking in rulership, okay? 
it just seemed it, it was fucking grievous it seemed grievous at the time it was not fucking joyous it didn't seem joyous okay but that's the whole fucking point as it speaks about in um second like just the seventh chapter okay if it wasn't hard and fucking difficult and you didn't catch hell and go through all this shit um in on your journey to obtain this fucking ultimate um everlasting kingdom then how the fuck can you can you obtain it you know and that's the deal so let's get this in the um in the uh, other translations because it breaks it down fire and the NLT and IV CSB um, and others okay this is in Romans 9 and 28 it says in CSB since Yahawa will execute his sentence completely and decisively on the earth. Okay, it says, um, for in the NIV, for Yahweh will carry out his sentence on earth with speed and finality. Okay, the NLT. For Yahweh, Bashir Yahushai will carry out his sentence upon the earth quickly and with finality. Okay. And this is in the ESV. Um, and then we'll, we'll stop at the RSV. It says, For Yahweh, Ma Shem Shai, will carry out his sentence upon the earth fully and without delay. So this thing is not fucking tearing and it never, it never has. Okay. It never fucking has. Um, it says in the RSV, finishing it off, for Yahweh will execute his sentence upon the earth with rigor and dispatch. Okay. Oh, shit, look. ASV for Yahweh will execute his word upon the earth, finishing it and cutting it short. Okay. YLT for a matter he is finishing and is cutting short in righteousness. See, this thing has been cut short in righteousness. Because nothing but wickedness is fucking abounding. So much so that the earth is in mourning. The the people the fucking fading and fuck away. Now, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. It speaks about how the earth is weaker through age. And the age that it's talking about. Because the earth is... Um, is sustainable forever okay high out um crop output and if if a a, a society is righteous because what does it tell you brings to a famine right so it's um it's highly sustainable but the age that it's talking about is the mismanagement that's how it's become weaker like i said um because the ordinances have been um transgressed the everlasting covenant and ordinances and laws of the Most High have been completely fucking disregarded. Okay? So the Most High is going to cut this thing short. All right? The the brothers in... Uh, in... Um, Salakia. What, what do they go by now? It's not the IE. Because that's Barak in them. Um, is it Antelope Valley? I believe it's the GMS Animal Valley, formerly uh, Ancient of Days, the leader Mwatasak. Their camp was going into how, um, into the same concept, right? How the Most High, he, he, he said, okay, since um, pretty much these other nations, primarily Esau, Edom, because he was would be the one, according to prophecy, that would be in the power seat. Since you didn't judge uprightly, since you didn't um, manage the earth correctly, and and um, the earth that the Most High gave you, which is a high fucking responsibility, because you now have all the people, and what have you done to the people but destroy them? 
okay, through your filthy fucking philosophies. All right? So that the Most High says, now I'm just going to have to fucking intervene. And that's what's going down, man. This is extremely ext encouraging. He's going to do it, it said, with finality, man. And dispatch these motherfuckers. Zephaniah 1 and 18, it says, Neither uh, their go silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. See, so these are the scriptures that um, reference the... Um, the duration, if you will, okay, that are in association with how quickly the Most High is, is going to uh, wipe out this this current w wicked system, okay, this wicked fucking um, existence that the world is experiencing, man, okay. This is Matthew twenty four twenty two, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And understanding that the Most High is in charge of time, okay, he's um he's the one that governs uh, all of time. Because look, the kicker. The Most High doesn't even fucking, um, is not even bound by time. He doesn't experience time linearly in a, in a line, okay, like we do in this, in these, in this current state that we're in, you see? But in this, um, how we perceive time, he's even speeding that shit up. And it's just like it says, so if the days are, are sh being shortened, um, Who's shortening the days? And who is he doing it for? Uh, and who are they doing it for? Who's shortening the days? Who governs time? And it said he's doing it for the elect's sake. Okay, and we can see it. We can actually see it um, right before our fucking face. Let's uh, get that in Isaiah. We'll finish off with that, actually. This is in Revelation 22 and 12. It said, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every, every man according as his work shall be. And when you read in these scriptures, a reward could be destruction or salvation. Okay. And the Most High is going to be the Most High Son. All right, let me say that right. The Most High and the behest of his Son is going to be doling out those two uh, rewards. Okay. And he's going to be doing it very fucking quickly. And he has. Look, it's only been a couple thousand years. And you can see how close we are. That we don't have another generation to go in this motherfucker, man. In accordance to the biblical prophetic timeline. There's no, it, it's, it, um, it's going right in alignment with um, what you see right in front of your fucking face right now. In accordance to um, <clears throat> geopolitical affairs, all right, this global conflict that's being mustered up right now in the um, the fucking R Russian front, Russia, Russia, Ukraine, motherfucking uh, the Israelis and um, Palestinians, you see. Motherfucking economic collapse. So all these things are being done in haste. The Most High, he said he will hasten it in his time. I mean, how many um, scriptures are there that reference the Most High is gonna, when he um, starts to make good on his word? Well, Salaki, when he, um, when these prophecies start to come to fruition and the end is being ushered in, how it would be, it would fucking, it would get to, to cracking. Okay, and it wasn't going to lag out. And it was going to actually fucking, it was going to happen so fast it's, it's, that it would leave these motherfuckers' heads spinning. All right, and that's how it's going to be, too. 
when um, they said like a thief in the night, that's the that's the worst way for um, for you to get hit with some shit. Okay, and it shows you that the people were unsuspecting, unexpecting. All right. So as it as it said, like um, that hope that's been deferred, right? Um, that we for a time seemed like it was being prolonged. That, um, but now we're starting to see these these things come to pass. Okay, Psalms fifty eight and ten. It said, "The righteous." shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So in a time where the masses of the people would be fucking bewailing the sight of these calamities come upon the earth, at a time when they would be fucking um, in an ultimate state of fucking turmoil, okay, and devastation, that there's going to be men... There's going to be that the righteous men would be rejoicing. Okay. And that's what it is. Even in this fucking miserable nightmare the, uh, that we're in, in this cesspool of wickedness, um, the men of Yahweh, the righteous, are starting to rejoice. Okay. Because we're, it's truly time to get the fuck out of here. And what that means. And that what that simply means is that it's time for this place to be destroyed. Because for us to get out of here, this place has to be wiped out. Okay? And now it, now we see it, man. The vengeance is, is, is being unleashed on this place, man. Okay? We give all praises to the Heavenly Father for it. Bracha de Yahweh, Bracha de Yahweh Shai. Bracha the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the Wada Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right, eternally, we sing and scream the praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to to have and establish that new Exodus fifteen and three joint. Okay, redo that, revamp that, to be singing the praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai forever. All right, so with that. All praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukah, Kadash, Shalom.